with you to begin with. Um, just talking to Kieran earlier, look, not the most exciting of days on the market today. Not the most exciting, but unusual for the Australian market. We were out of step with a lot of the major markets of the world. In fact, if we have a look at the US market, the Shanghai Composite and the Japanese market, they were all up or down just 0.1%. So basically a flat performance. But this is a day where the Australian market saw a loss of 0.7%. It does look like it was very much a risk off day and there was dislocation in markets. Most of that was seen in the currency market, especially in the Japanese yen crosses. If we have a look at the US dollar to, uh, and the Japanese yen this is what it looks like uh, for today's trading and you can see at 11 a.m. our time we saw a very steep drop uh, in the US dollar and the Japanese yen absolutely surging to a new record high we are seeing this cross now back to the levels that they were at uh, at the time of the Japanese tsunami nuclear disaster and in fact the markets back to the same levels as well we saw a low during that correction in March at 4,477 points and it does look like the markets uh, headed that way as well. The energy sector in focus with the OPEC meeting today. The energy sector was the worst performing area, but altogether a very disappointing market given that we've seen pretty much flat performances by the Shanghai Composite and the US market, which traditionally the Australian market takes its lead from. It's time that well, people will start to look, I suppose, in lieu of any uh, fundamental or value sort of catalyst, start to look to the charts for direction. I guess in this type of market, everything starts to emerge as value. And in fact, if you have a look at this correction that we've seen, we've seen some massive move da downs in our blue chip stocks. And it's not just across one sector, it's across um, almost all the sectors of the market. We're seeing stocks like Leighton's down by 23%. The media companies losing around about 20% for our seven West Media. But not only that, we're seeing stocks like Worley Parsons down by 13%, AMP down by 12%, the banks down by about 10%. In fact, since this correction started, we've seen the worst sectors being the energy, the discretionary and the material space all down more than 10%. So a sell-off across the markets and the only sectors which have managed a gain are the, the, the consumer, uh, the utility sector as well as the telecom sectors, the uh, traditionally defensive areas. But when we see a day like this where we are moving, in, I guess in a confused state, it seems, sends a clear warning signal that something is uh, wrong, that markets are nervous, that there is confusion. Fusion. Sometimes it can be noise, but we've seen this correction now lasting nine weeks. We've seen the Australian market correcting 9.2% from the highs to the lows. We reached a new low today, so a fresh two and a half month low. We're looking at testing the, uh, the Japan nuclear disaster tsunami low at 4,477 points. So it should be sending a clear warning signal at the moment. If we have a look at the Shanghai Composite, it's doing even worse than the Australian market since their correction. They've lost almost 13% percent but the US market still has a lot of catch-up to do it's lost less than five percent from the peak down to the trough so I guess a lot of dislocation in markets and that's sending a clear warning signal uh, just to look at some of the risk management strategies in place because there is a lot of uncertainty in this market so Julia would you suggest that the further risk then is to the downside that we are expected to see this negative trend continue well the trend is certainly in place and that was confirmed today we saw a new low in this correction and if we have a look at the correction this is what it looks like we have been down we're channeling now for the last nine weeks. The reason why 4,477 points is so crucial is not only is it the Japanese uh, disaster low, but also if we have a look at the market and have a look at this shape formation here, this is the market since the beginning of the year, you can see a clear M shape and this is what traders call a double top. If you do see the neckline broken, then usually what you see is a fall from the top of that uh, double top down to the neckline. So we're targeting something below 4,000 200 points and so these levels on the market are extremely important we've already seen a number of key support levels broken if we see that 4,477 uh, point mark being broken then a lot of traders are going to say we're targeting just below 4,200 points. HP and Rio Julia Lee uh, well vastly different fortunes today on the market Rio up about uh, well, 31 cents, BHP down 17 cents, but uh, some interesting technical levels for the two stocks. I agree with uh, Kieran that in order to see the market at 4,200 points, we have to see some pretty dramatic moves. So I guess a lot of technical traders watching some of those large cap stocks with interest on the Australian market, especially BHP, Billiton and Rio Tinto, they are two of the largest stocks in the material sector, indeed in the Australian market. And so that, that's going to have a major bearing on index performance. We have a look at the
at the charts of both of these stocks, we're coming up to some very important technical levels. So this is BHP Billiton. You can see that we've bounced off this support area a number of times now, and we're at that support level again at 42.20 cents. So we, we just finished above that around 42.80, but coming very quickly up to that support level. If we do see that support level broken, we could see some more selling pressure coming into the stock. Rio Tinto does have a little bit more to move, but the same type of pattern is being seen. You can see that this is Rio Tinto, once again a support level at around that $78 mark. So we want to see that support level holding for the Australian market to hold these levels. But of course if we see a break below that we could see technical traders coming in to uh, further sell down our two biggest material stocks. So some very important technical levels for BHP Billet and Rio Tinto. They have not been breached yet. Hopefully these levels will hold. But if we do see a breaking of these levels on the chart it could be a very signal. All right, then something to keep an eye out for. Uh, we do have to